What's up guys? Adam at Time Warp Custom Paint. I am super excited that you're here because in this episode, you're going to be able to follow along as I take this metal flake tank to the next level. The first thing we'll do is run a tape line down the center of the part. We'll use that to measure off to get both sides the same. Next, I'm going to run a line going front to back following the contour of the part. In this case, I'm going to tape up a teardrop shape that I'll be able to match up to the other side. Now that I have my first line laid out, I'm going to mirror it on the opposite side. This is accomplished by measuring off the center line. What I do is I use a piece of tape and my thumbnails as a way of transferring over the same distance to the other side, trimming the tape slightly above the same distance. These temporary tape lines will serve as guides to making both sides exactly the same. Now that we have a line on both sides, we can build off of those lines, creating different sized panels and shapes. The best advice I can give you on how to tape out a design would be to just tape something out. Try it, see how it looks. If it looks good and it seems to flow nice, then go with it. If it doesn't, pull the tape off and try something else. Now that we got our design taped up, we're going to move on to mixing our first airbrush color. When it comes to transparent candies, you'll want to paint the darkest colors first. For this project, we've decided to go with a brown and gold candy. So in that case, we're going to mix up a root beer brown, KK07. That stands for candy concentrate. So we need to dilute it with a clear base coat. I'm mixing this at a two to one ratio, two parts clear base, one part candy. Then I'll add some urethane reducer to thin it out to make it sprayable through an airbrush. Before I go and start blasting this thing, I'm going to double check to make sure that all of my tape lines are pressed down good. Basically what I'm doing here is I'm aiming for the tape lines and blending the paint out on both sides. So under the tape will be left silver with the brown fade on each side. Other than that, just try to stay in your lines and apply the paint as evenly as possible. segment, I filmed it in hopes to not have to bore you with a bunch of talk. 
If I have any other detailed videos, you'll see them pop up at the top side of your screen. If you have any questions, feel free to hit me up in the comments section. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Next, we're gonna mix up some gold candy that we'll spray onto the entire part. I'm mixing this at a two to one ratio. Two parts clear base coat, one part candy. I'm going to throw in just a touch of root beer brown to darken up the mixture just a little bit. I did wanna mention that you can find all the paint and materials for this paint job on my Amazon storefront. You'll find the link in the description of this video. Now that the candy is applied, we're going to apply a clear coat according to the label. Once the clear is dry, we're able to sand out the paint edges to get ready for the next layer of graphics.
for this project, I decided to break up the paint by adding a little white marbleized graphic. I start by running some fine line on both sides of the section I'm wanting to paint. Then I mask outwards to prevent any kind of overspray. I'm going to mix up a couple of different shades of paint using the same root beer and gold candy and mixing them with a white base coat. You'll want to mix your darkest shades first. If you want to create a lighter shade of this same color, just simply add more white to another mixture. I'm going to mix up the final batch of clear coat at a 4 to 1 ratio according to the label and we're all set to spray. And that's it guys. Thanks for hanging out with me. If you have any questions or if you just want to say, hey, Adam, I love your videos, uh, hit me up in the comment section. Uh, if you want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And as always, thank you for watching.